Good day, farmer. Today we are going to be talking about cabbage. We want to focus on disease management uh, and pest control. Um, but before I get into that, I just wanted to share with farmers what I would regard as a tentative um, rotation so that at least people are on top of their cycles, meaning pests and diseases. I, I, would, I would suggest that farmers start with nightshade, which is a tomato, uh, followed by a cucubit, which is a pumpkin. You can do butternut and then and, and, um, you know, watermelons, whatever you find um, you, you want to do. You can also do legumes, um, which is uh, beans and uh, related crops. You can also put a cereal. Then after that, you can then go to the brassica. It's, it's a most sort of like tentative program I would um, allow farmers to, to, to consider. So going forward, I'm going to just go on maybe what I would call a bull it representation of the most common crop most common problems that farmers normally face um, after having done your rotations well it's important to always anticipate things like aphids aphids are going to be one of the things that you are going to find problematic when you are growing um, cabbages so with aphids you have ddvp you have the diclovos they can help in managing aphids but aphids normally are also a, a sign of a dehydrated crop so people need to rehydrate their crops water adequately when we are planting we normally uh, run into problems with catworm cabral fenvarlet clopidifos and maverick too can be used to manage catworm it's quite a problematic um, uh, pest because it's very active at night and farmers don't get to see it Begradabak also has given farmers a run for their money. It's also important to make sure that you are always scouting and looking out for it. And um, we would then um, request that you get Diclovos can help on Begradabak. You can also use DDVP can come in handy as well. Diamond back moth is one other uh, problem that farmers are going to encounter, at least seen or rather noticeable on your plants by a process called windowing, where it damages the, 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 the tissue of the crop and um, it leaves it with holes all over. And diclovos, endosulfan, we have been used as well to control diamond back moth. We also have leaf miner. For leaf miner, um, the advice would be to always look out for it before it, 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 it attacks the, the, the crop so that at least you don't run into major problems. The chemicals come in a bit pricey. Um, red spider mite, very common if rotations are not good. Abamectin, dicofol, karate are some of the chemicals that farmers can think of and apply. Red spider also thrives in a dehydrated environment. So it's important that farmers rehydrate. Cabbages are very, very, very thirsty crops. They love to get um, water as much as is possible. When it comes to diseases, we have um, on number one, you think black rot. The challenge when it comes to diseases, I think it's also an issue of where people get their seeds or seedlings. If your seedlings and seeds are faulty or they are not of high standards and quality, you are most likely to run into these problems. So for black rot, we recommend that the best way of preventing it, managing it, is to use certified seeds. Bacterial soft rot is also another one very common in the times like in Zimbabwe, uh, November, December, January where it's wet. So we recommend that farmers use raised beds to um, avoid running into this problem. The downy mildew is one a fungal infection that's quite common. Diathen M45 would also be a very good um, um, remedy for it. Um, please watch out for it. It's quite common if the atmosphere is humid. Um, damping off is one problem that is normally found when the seedbed wasn't done properly. The remedy to it up until today has been thyram, but thyram is more useful when you are doing a preventative application than uh, a curative one. So in summary, today's subject is one that needs farmers just to be on the lookout, know what you are doing, know how to identify the pest you are dealing with, and you will be able to get to the finish line strong. Thank you.